Dogmatica Spriggins. How about Ten Ye Dogmatica Thime Time Thief? With 13 cards. Grass looks greener. I don't need grass. Like, I don't have any graveyard effects. <laughs> the 60 card deck without grass even good? It's alright. If you're just playing a bunch of engines, Nechasta. Ten Ye. But opponent's monster loses 1500 attack. They need more than 2500 attack to beat over this thing by battle. Hopefully they don't activate a uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, because I'll be screwed. Raigeki? Oh, that's fine. At Ignister? <gasps> At a level 1 or lower Ignister monster? Sure, I'll negate it. If this deck wins, I will become homeless? Of course it's going to win! It's a 60 card pile. Save in perm for Dark Templar? Never. Any opinions on Waking the Dragon? Yeah, it's a great card. All in, baby. Exactly. I have so much advantage in this deck, I can do whatever I want. With 15 bricks, you have to play 60 cards. Some game theory for you people. Did you know the average meta deck can't play through two negates? And that's a fact. <gasps> Ooh, excellent card. Ooh, I'm just gonna send Natis so I can banish it with Maximus. Activate Natis in the grave. Or oh, I almost right clicked by accident. Okay. And then Ecclesia. So, Maximus now. Maximus. Oh, and I had Monk of the Tenny in the graveyard. Uh, well, sh Okay, Maximus. I forgot I had Monk of the Tenny in the grave. I could have saved Natis. Okay, so I'll send Titan Clad and Wind Pegasus for more advantage during the end phase. How many engines can you fit into a 30, 60 card deck? Well, I mean, I have three currently. The thing is, you also have to run like 20 hand traps. <laughs> Most meta decks can play the two negates. That's what makes them meta. No, the average meta deck cannot play through two negates. Your deck is not meta if you can't play through at least one negate. Two though? You have to open up really good to play through two negates. Solemn Judgment War flashbacks. Titan clad from the graveyard. Uh, Fraudulin to the field. No, add it to my hand so I have a negate. Live Twin can play easily play through two negates. I mean, can it? If you open up two Live Twin cards and a whole bunch of hand traps and both of your Live Twins are negated, what are you going to do about that? Nothing. <gasps> In your graveyard and special summon it. Oh, I can DD Crow. I got negates for days, my boy. Danger can play through two negates. Can they? Like, if someone's dumb enough to negate the dangers, and sure. DD Crow's still good. <gasps> Once per turn, they can't be destroyed by card effects. I like this card. I played it in the normal rare festival. Drytron, PK, Teresa, Alberto can all go through two negates. PK, well, I know for a fact PK can't, because if you negate Gossip Shadow, their plays are donezo. <laughs> and Drytron, if you stop them from getting a... Actually, they might be able to do it. Wow, one negate stopped them? A telegraphed. Oh no, I can't use it. Maximus time. I hate Drytron so much. Yeah, Drytron and Master Duel is ridiculously overpowered. Oh, they're gonna negate my Maximus. Eh, whatever. I didn't really have any good targets to send to the graveyard anyway. <laughs> Let's see, Time Thief Regulator. I can do that in order to go into Time Thief Redoer. Although I have to hard go into it instead of using its great effect since I have too many cards on the field. Looking cool, Joker! Redoer! Okay, and then if I summon Fraudulin, I still don't have enough attack to beat over him. And I'd rather save Fraudulin for the negate that he provides. So we'll just attack into this thing. Since this card only prevents destruction effects. Oh, it has a floating effect? I don't know what the floating effect is. Oh, it summons a token? Oof, that could be bad. Broke, Herald, Drytron, field five cards in hand, in danger, people can, can't can read sometimes. People can't read sometimes. Activate the effect of Time Thief Redoer? Yes! I selected yes this time. What did I get? A monster? Shit, that sucks. Why do I have this field chosen? Doesn't raise 500 attack when it attacks? Yeah, but it would just go up to 3,000, which isn't enough to beat it. I'd need to accumulate the attack gains over two turns, which I don't think is as good as just having a negate live. Banding Eva would probably fix Drytron? Probably. Current Drytron and Master Duel is stronger than it ever was in the TCG. Because when Drytrons were running around, they didn't have a uh, Diviner. <laughs> I hate Dangers too, which is Polarizing takes too long. Nobody uses Dangers anymore. 
Although Dangerous are an engine. Maybe I should have played Dangerous with this. Ban Eva and limit Ben 10. Yeah, like they did in the TCG. Splash Magician. <gasps> Attic Nister. Wait, what does that effect do in the grave? Play your opponent's card effects until the end of your opponent's next turn. Graveyard, special summon defense position, but it negates its effects. Also, you cannot special monsters for rest of turn except for Cybers monsters. Uh, I mean, I could negate it, but should I? I don't think I need to. Like, it's fine if his effect is unaffected. Target one Cybers monster in your graveyard, because I can just do this to stop it. I don't need to affect you to stop your effect. Imperm? Imperm was last turn. <laughs> It is before the end of the main phase. Activate the effect of a card. No. No. Ooh, I can get a five material Zeus. <gasps> Time Thief Winder. Activate the effect. Yes, give me a trap card. Ooh, I got a trap card. I'll activate this, targeting one of the cards. I'll send Ecclesia to the grave. Special summon out Winder. Too busy reading chat. No, I was drinking a... The last of my water. Lovel Chain was literally banned for sending any card from the deck to the graveyard. Beatrice is basically that on a quick effect, ring three. It is, however, Beatrice is much harder to go into than Lovel Chain. Dogmatica Maximus, I'm going to thin out your extra deck so much that you're going to cry. However, come on, send more of your cards to the graveyard. He has Wind Pegasus too? So if I destroy one of his cards, he's gonna bounce one of mine. Hmm. Eh, whatever. If it happens, it happens. Negate the effect of a card on the field? Sure, whatever. Might I have an effect in the graveyard I can use? Fossil Warrior? Nah, I'm good. We'll do this now so I get the attack boost. That way, Wind Pegasus doesn't have a juicy target to send to the grave. What's it going to banish? Is it gonna banish my Time Thief or Doer? That's what I would banish, or spin anyway. He's basically done what he sent the Dark Knight to the graveyard. Dark Templar. Wait, what? He brought out Attic Mister. We'll detach Mirror Force in order to spin that back to the deck. I'm not sure why he didn't activate Ignister. That's game for me. Neat. Whoa! He had Wind Pegasus in the grave. That was actually scary. Did you guys think my pile deck was gonna lose? Like, it's just three engines and a whole bunch of staples. I think I added something like 18 staples to the deck. Let me recount it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, I added 20 staples to the deck. <laughs> like, it's literally just engines plus a whole bunch of staple hand traps and or just staples. Because not all of them are hand traps. Turns out you can win if you just negate everything your opponent tries to do. 